Well, it's the end of an era for the pigs. I never really like killing. Um, but if you're going to eat meat, you should try it. That's a wake up call for someone this morning, hey? When you kill something, you realize like things I don't think are really meant to be dead. Yeah, I feel like living is where I where I thrive. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're it's like you're functioning and doing stuff and like clean and and then as soon as you're dead, it gets just messy and but If you're going to eat the meat. If you want to stay alive. If you want to keep your body from being dead, you're going to eat. Something else has to die. And no matter what we eat, we're going to kill Something. things, basically. Something's going to die. Yeah. So, do it yourself. It's way cleaner. So, the bum is tricky, Sarah. Come have a look at it. There we go. So for now, I just skin around that. Like, people either dunk it and scrape it in boiling water, mm -hmm. but you need a really big pot of boiling water to dunk a pig. So mm -hmm. they use like a giant old tank. Mm -hmm. So I don't have that and heating up that much water would be difficult. But the other thing yeah. where you can do it is with a tiger torch and mm -hmm. you can just, and we've done that a number of times and you just singe it all and scrape mm -hmm. it all. But that's also a lot of work and like we never actually eat the skin. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm totally okay with just, just yeah. So that'll come off. We can just pull it. Three of us. One, two, three. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? No. Oh, you're so humble. If you find just, you see how it's just right there, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the spot. So you kind of just got to like grab the bum hole and pull it out. <laughs> that's the best part. Seriously. You got to grab it, pull it out, and then cut all the way around it. And you are not afraid to get dirty, are you? Stop it. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get the job done, that's what she does. Hey. Hey, hey, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm trying to focus too. You keep putting your elbow in the... There you go. Yeah, nice. Nice. Very clean. Oh, that's full. Oh! Oh! Ah! Whoops. Oh, no. Why'd you do that? Sarah, I didn't do that. Pee? Did it? It's okay, it's just peeing. Yikes. Wow, that's a full bladder. What? <laughs> okay, that's that's supposed to be like that, yeah, I think. That's just the water cavity. Good job, Sarah. Nicely done. Did the whole thing, hey?
we can convert the pig bits that are hard for us to process into chicken wings. Now also, if you've ever been really worried about trichinosis... Not really. You should. Oh. Trichinosis is terrible. It'll There's little you. tiny parasites, the worms, they, they crawl around in your skin, they lay the eggs, and they create cysts, mostly under your eyes, but sometimes in your brain, and, and you look terrible. <laughs> you look dead. You don't have trichinosis. Because you're about, you're dying. You're, it's terrible. I'm sorry if you have trichinosis. But here's the magic of chickens. You feed trichinosis to chickens, guess what happens? They turn it into wings. Trichinosis goes in their bodies and dies. Huh. Trichinosis cannot abide in a chicken. Is that right? So the cure to trichinosis is to eat more chicken? No, to get eaten by a chicken. Oh, okay. That will, okay. Back. I researched that on the internet. Okay, so... Do your own research, I guess, before you... <laughs> yeah, no, I'd just take my word for it. I think the girls can just do it on their own now. I know they can. I more or less am involved just... Verbally. Well, kind of as a... What do you call that when you don't really need, you know... It's like... Like a supervisor or a manager. No, so like, like when you, you're, you're, extra, you're unessential... That's what I meant, a supervisor or a manager. Hey, what do you guys got here? We've got some bacon. You got some bacon? Oh yeah. man, that is looking premium. Oh, you're cleaning up just that lower leg, eh? It's got lots of gristle in it. Mm -hmm. That'll grind up for sausage. Oh man. What do you got? The tenderloin. Wow, beautiful. Should I just Super cut this piece tender. off again? Yeah, cut that little thin strip off, and then just clean off that tendon, and that'll be like the most tender little shish kebab pieces or stir fry pieces. And then of course a tenderloin will be some steaks. You want this off too, Dad? What are you making? This one is. Hips. Hips? <laughs> roast. Hip roast? Got you another know, hip here. here. Big hole hip. Okay. okay, you got it. Hold that thing up, man. Right on. Nice piece of pork loin. You bet. Okay, what's up, ladies? Are you done? What do I do this um, time? I need this done. Say it again. Clean it up and chop them. Or... This is the last pack of bacon. What do we got there? This Pork one. shish kebabs. Shish, shish kebabs. Right on. Nice big bowl of hamburger. Yeah. A couple little roasts. Look at that little guy. Looking nice. Look at that, eh? So, uh, farm to table in like what, four couple, hours? Couple, three hours? Yeah. So they start like a beautiful animal, and then you kill them, and they turn into a gross, dead thing. So it's kind of like beautiful animal, and then gross, dead thing, but then slowly as you, Once you know, you skin it, and then you gut it, and then you quarter half it or whatever, and you start cutting out pieces and cuts, and then you see like the tenderloin, and then once that's in steaks, you know, you're on this curve, yeah, now it's I think it's like a meal. logarithmic curve, and it turns into like premium... Meals. Yes. And yet you appreciate that meat way more, because you know what's gone into it. I do. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. We do. We do. <laughs> Bacon. It's bacon time. Look at this. It already kind of looks like bacon. Yeah. Starting to smoke. We close it up? Yeah. All right, let's watch it smoke. Yeah. There you go. Farm to field. No, farm to pan. Farm, farm, farm. farm to kitchen. <laughs> what do they call that? They call it bacon.
How is it? This is like seriously the best bacon we've ever made. What? Ever. <laughs> Does that look like nice bacon? Can't believe it's not being eaten. Ah, it tastes like. Oh, that's awesome. The best bacon you've ever had. What do you think, Sarah? Pretty good. What? Pretty good. Nice. Sounds like great grandma. From a teenager, that's like the world. most amazing bacon in the world to get a pretty good, hey? World class. Mm. Tiny little bit of salt, right? Little bit of curing salt. And then a tiny bit of sugar, but like very little, like barely enough to cover it. Like not even like a shake and bake. Okay. Remember shake and bake? I remember shake and bake. I grew up on shake and yeah. bake. But we should, let's bring it back. A little bit of a little bit of sugar, salt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just barely enough. Tiny little bit, just like it, shake and bake. And then it right. Remember shake and, then, and, bake. and then it no, not even as much as shake and bake. Right. No, no, no not that much. That even. was the whole point. That was the point. You can make your own bacon. Twenty pounds at seven dollars, <whistles> right? Hundred and forty dollars worth of bacon. That almost pays for the pig. Yeah. Just the bacon. Well, and, and that's this is premium bacon, so it's probably more like eight fifty a pound. Oh, this is uh, it's expensive bacon. Yeah, you can't even buy this kind of bacon. You you can't actually. But if you could, it would be probably around eight fifty a pound, <laughs> right? What did I say? Eight fifty. That's a hundred and seventy dollars worth of bacon. That pays for the whole pig. Well, almost. That's like printing money. Yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. Bacon is like the real currency. Bacon is the new Bitcoin. I'm investing in bacon. <laughs> but really, what else would you want besides bacon? Like every morning when you wake up, the yeah. first thing you want is bacon. <clears throat> yeah. And if you can make your own bacon... There's nothing you can't do. You're like the superstar of the party when you bring the bacon wrapped whatevers. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Do you know what this is? It's got bacon. <laughs> I bet there'd be a lot less crazy people on airplanes if instead of handing out this tiny bag of peanuts, here's your bacon. Here's your bacon, sir. You look kind of nervous. Uh, first time flying? Here. Here's a couple pieces of bacon. What do you mean my flight's four hours late? Ooh, bacon. Oh, okay. Welcome to Canada. Here's, Here's your, bacon. your bacon. Say you were to die tragically and your body was still in good health and you donate it to science, you could actually donate your bacon. Your bacon. I totally have a lot of bacon on me at all times. Yeah, that that taints the bacon a little bit for you me. Could, uh, you could cure it and then you and your family could sit down for a meal of Jeff Bacon. <laughs> Yeah, this has taken a bit of a turn for me. I'd eat your bacon. <laughs> I'm just not. Good luck. Hot pocket. You mean that one? Hot pocket. Yeah. <laughs> no, he does a thing on bacon. We should invite Jim out. We should. Next time. That guy likes he bacon. He likes bacon. And yeah, I like bacon too. So I probably would get along well with him. Hear that, Jim? You're invited. <laughs>